Poland were awarded the right to co-host Euro 2012 back in 2007, sparing them the need to qualify for a tournament they've only featured at once. The hopes of the co-hosts rest on a group of young Polish players, including Robert Lewandowski and goalkeeper Wojciech Krzyzewski. Preparing for the tournament with a series of friendlies, Poland met fellow Euro 2012 host Ukraine in September 2010, looking for their first win in six months. And it looked like they'd get it after Irinaus Yelen put them ahead just before half-time. The home fans' hopes of victory were snatched in the dying minutes of the match, when second-half substitute Evan Selezhnev tapped in the equaliser for Ukraine. A few weeks later, Poznan City Stadium was reopened after renovation. It will play host to three matches from Group C. After defeat to Australia, Poland travelled to Chicago the following month to face the United States. They came from behind twice to earn a hard-fought draw. Poland's search for a victory ended in November when they beat the Côte d'Ivoire at Miaski Stadium, one of the host venues for Euro 2012. The Poles reiterated their upturn in form with a 2-1 win over Argentina at Warsaw's Pepsi Arena. The match saw a debut international goal for Adrian Merzijewski to help his country take the lead. Marco Rubin equalised for the Argentines just after half-time. But Pavel Brosek's neat finish saw Poland secure the win and an impressive scalp. However, their form took a stumble four days later with a narrow loss to France. Vroslav's Municipal Stadium, venue for three Group A matches, had its grand opening in September 2011. With work ongoing at the National Stadium, the country's Euro 2012 preparation continued. And with less than a year to go to the finals, Poland earned a draw with South Korea. Lewandowski added to his international goal tally in the opening half hour, heading home after Blaszczykowski's effort came back off the crossbar. However, a brace from Chu Young Park threatened to derail the Poles. His second goal drew a deafening roar from the home crowd. But when Tai Hui Quack's clearance was charged down, Blaszczykowski took full advantage to earn a draw. Poland's spirit demonstrated they will not be a team to underestimate, especially on home soil. YouTube.com forward slash goal is full of stuff like this and proper football too. To make sure you don't miss out, just hit the subscribe button. It really is that simple.